Hi everybody, welcome to Wendy's Art. Today I'm working on a finished canvas panel painting that's about 45 by 45 centimetres. Um, I'm just doing a little bit of mark making at the end. I used the leftover paints from a, another abstract to do this painting, so I just turn around and put my leftover knife on the palette, sorry, leftover paint on the palette knife or my scraper. Um, so here you can see that I've used a screwdriver just to make some little marks in the white area on the right hand side at the top there and now I'm just making a few similar type marks, not as many, trying to have a little bit of variety but just also repeating that, that mark making. Um, so next I'm going to try some Jane Davenport tools. Um, I struggled a bit to get this open because I think it had a childproof catch on it but um, Eventually I got there. Okay, so I'm just going to pull a few of those tools out and just see what sorts of marks that will make. Um, the paint's not especially thick, so it's not, not sort of making, you know, um, it's not digging back through multiple layers of paint. There's a few layers there, but yeah, that, that one's just making a similar size to the lines that I already have, except they're double lines. So you can see it a bit better here. So just making a few curvy marks, using the paper towel just to push off the bits of paint that come up. So doing another one down the bottom there, which is a bit hard to see. Um, so I'm going to try a different tool this time. Um, it actually ends up making the same sort of mark, double, double lines. So yeah, I'm going to bring something different in this time, I think. Um, Sakura solid markers, absolutely love them and they're perfect for it at the end of an oil and cold wax painting. So I just want to get a few white marks on there. So I'm putting them on the dark, trying to get that um, dark to light pop going. Um, so if I put them on one of the lighter areas it wouldn't have obviously shown up as, as much. So I'm just doing just some little, little dots here on some of the, the darker areas, moving into the light. Um, just repeating that pattern, I, I love that, the little dots, so just repeating that a few times around the painting and using that to try and help draw the eye around the painting. Um, coming in for a few pops of yellow now, um, just trying to brighten that yellow up a little bit, just putting some, some straight little straight marks now in the yellow. I'm trying to make that bit there a bit of a focus area, a bit of a focal point. So I'll repeat those yellow marks in a few different places now. I'm sort of going in where the yellows already are just to brighten them up a little bit and bring that yellow out a bit more. So I'll keep going with that yellow, I think I do. <laughs> Um, yeah, just trying to find another another spot to pop them in. Okay, so making a few line marks at, at the moment. So again, repeating that a bit. Okay, just a few more. So making them a little bit different, but repeating it across the, the painting. So onto the blue now, it's the beautiful blue. So picking some of those dark areas just to pop some of that blue into. Moving around the painting, trying to just put some, some bigger dots now, and now, now a much bigger circle, so trying to get a bit of variety with the marks there. So I've got little dots and then medium dots and then bigger dots. Just finding areas where there's no blue, so just putting a little hint of blue in there. Or a big hint of blue. <laughs> okay. So coming in lastly with the black. building up those dark areas with a bit more black. I didn't use black, I used a Prussian blue, so just a bit of black to get some really dark darks. And again, trying to put 
some black in where the black isn't so prominent so it can try and stand out against the light colours and, and move the eye more around the painting. Okay, so just putting some little black lines now and as I said just popping some little squirrely black lines, some little marks, just variety in the mark making. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video, it's just um, to show how you can finish a painting off to provide some real interest. And yeah, I, I really love doing the mark making so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please click like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and this is the finished painting.